Hey guys, it's Claire and I think I screwed myself again because it's literally the last day of September and I have a couple hours to get this video up, so yeah. But the reason I put this video off for so long is because I have been in a huge reading slump since about the second or third week of school because I only read five books this month, okay? And I'm on average like 15 books a month, so it was really slow for me and I didn't think I was going to have enough books to make an entire video, but I think I can cover it. I'm kind of getting back into reading today. I finished two books today, so it was kind of a good thing maybe that I pushed this off. We just have to hope that iMovie loves me today, you know? And I can't do anything about my sideburns. They're tucked back. They can't be bobby pin. They can't be hairsprayed. They look stupid. And we're gonna get into what I read in September. The first book I read was the final icebreaker book. Oh my God, I literally can't do anything about this. Acceptance, acceptance. I read Daydream by Hannah Grace. It was probably my favorite of the three. I give it four stars. There was probably the least amount of smut in it. Like it got progressively less smutty as you went on, but it was such a cute story. And they're so cute together. It was Henry and Holly, they're really cute together. So it was fun. It was fun. It was a quick, easy read. Actually, I think it took me a couple days though, because I, again, I'm in a reading slump, but loved it. And someone is mowing the grass. So we're gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> then I read The Magic Half by Annie Boros. And this was my favorite childhood book. And I bought this maybe three or four years ago and I haven't reread it yet. So I reread it this month. It was so cute literally exactly how i remembered it like i was picturing things in my head the way i pictured them when i was 10 years old so yes so cute i gave it five stars and i cannot wait to read the second book that she has with this one which is weird because i hate fantasy i got to listen to the last time i lied by riley sager it was a slow start but once i got into it i was super super invested and i liked it so much more than um house across the lake and there's another one because so far my favorite riley sager and it still is uh the only one left and house across the lake and there's another one i think that i read that were just mediocre to me this one is definitely a bridge between only one left and the other books so yeah definitely very excited to read the rest of his books once i get there then of course we read pucking sweet and I had this pre-ordered since March and it literally got delivered the day that she released it. I think it's about the same uh, length as uh, Pucking Wild, but I think this might've been my favorite of the three. Like obviously you love the first one because we love Caleb and Jake and they're probably still my favorite characters overall. I just love the dynamic between Poppy, Novi and Moro. You know, I don't know, I just think it was so sweet. And I think it's so funny how like neither one of them were like ever questioned being gay or anything before. And they're like, you know what? I think we might be just a little bit queer, you know? But yeah, again, there was not that much smut in here. Like this was like the perfect amount of smut. It gets the point across without it being too, too much. But I will say they had like very dirty talk arguments and I that did not I was not comfortable with that so yeah we could have done without that but I loved it last on my way home I finished listening to the philosopher's stone Ooh, love it it's just it's such a harry potter time of year and I'm so excited for it you know and finally I read sharp objects I can't tell you what month this was supposed to be because this is one of my add-ons I, I cannot tell you when I, I picked this one out, but finally I read it. I will say by page 50, I did figure out who did it. Am I interested in watching the show? Maybe once I finish all the other shows I want to watch, but I really enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy it as much as Gone Girl, but so good, like so good. So like chilling, haunting. And yeah, no, literally what I thought happened happened, which I don't like having to, I like, somewhat knowing it and then like having certain twists that i did not anticipate but no i kind of anticipated all of it but i'm currently listening to chamber of secrets now so i will hopefully read that and maybe get up to goblet maybe finish goblet by the end of october because it's like a couple weeks 
and I have lots of long car rides left but those are what I read this month that's what I'm currently reading and I plan today to pick out what I feel like I'm gonna want to read in October so I'll see you in October